All right, David here with Shoot for Par. Today we are checking out approach shots. What I have is I have my pitching wedge, and we are 120 yards out from the pen. We're utilizing the Unicor IXO, and we're going to do some approach shots to try to see how close we can get to the pen. So there's a couple different shot shapes that I'd like to try out. I'd like to try out a five-yard fade and a five-yard draw, and just see which shot shape is best for the situation. So. Ball for the pitching wedge, uh, utilizing the Cobra one lengths that I have, is going to be in the center. Club face is going to be slightly closed. I am aiming right about five yards of target because I know that my swing path is going to promote a fade. And we're going to see how close we can get to the pin. So let's try this first shot. Okay, I did fade it out a little bit more left. That was off of the toe, so that was a miss hit. About 3% of its distance lost because of the, the toe. Same thing. Going to try to aim just a little bit more in the center of the stance. I feel like I struck that a little bit better. There's 120 on the dot. 118 carry, 120 total. Again, with that same shot shape, five yard fade. So again, when I grip the club, I like to feel the club with my fingers. I, I don't have the club in the palms of my hands. You can see that I am using the three fingers of my glove hand, and I'm using the meaty portion of my palm to grip the club. The index finger and the thumb really don't have anything to do with my grip. I do utilize the 10 finger grip. I feel it's a little bit more comfortable for me. Try to get another shot shape in. That one's going to be way left. I didn't come across the ball as well as I'd like. 125, 127. A little long. Grip and club face to path are so crucial in just being able to execute fades and draws. That's going to be significantly short, I believe. Just a little bit. 108 with a 110. I felt that that was off the heel. We'll try one more with the fade set up, and then we'll switch to the draw. So again, ball's in the center of my stance. Club is directly pointing at my belly button. Club face is slightly closed, because I know my path is gonna be an out to in. That one's gonna be left. And on the green again at 110. So now with those shot shapes done, now we're going to go the other way. Now, when you attempt the draw, a couple things you're going to notice. With the fade, fades tend to be high with not a lot of roll out. So the descent angle is a little bit steeper. When you do the draw, you're not going to get the ball as high up in the air, but you're going to notice that the draw, the ball is going to go a little bit longer and have a little bit more roll out. So, my position changes slightly. The ball is still centered in my stance. I do have a closed stance to the target with a slightly open club face. Well, that's not bad for the first shot. 115 carry, 118 total. And you notice that that was almost more of a fade. Side angle is one degree closed. We'll try it again. That one's going to be significantly long. 130, 132. So again, as I mentioned with those draws, those draws tend to be a little bit longer. 
you almost want to finish lower with your swing path. That one's definitely gone. That's over the green completely. A very smooth swing. Felt great. 144 carry, 150 total. Right in the sweet spot. And because I hit it so flush and so well, again, it carries a little bit longer. Um, one of the ways to fix that when you're dealing with draws is just choke up on the club. So if I do hit it well, because I'm choked up on the club, the ball won't go as far. That one hung out to the left. Still towards the back of the green. 127, 130 total. And that was off the toe. We're going to try one more and try to get it drawn in there. I'm just going to take a three-quarter swing with this one and see how it fares. I feel like I hit that very well, but I can tell it's going. Man, you could drop a blanket on those two shots I just hit. They are side by side. We'll try one more. I want to try to get as close to the cup as I can. That one was choked all the way down, but I hit that very smooth. And there's the 140 with the 142 carry. So again, when it comes to approaching, you know, I have just the pitching wedge. I've got a 20 degree difference, 20 yard difference between the fade and the draw. So whenever you're having issues with club yapping and you really don't know what club you should use, you should take that into consideration. How far do you fade each ball with each club and how far do you draw each ball with each club? Because I believe, in my opinion, honestly, you will Fill your club gaps that way if you utilize that process and that thought mentality as to how you can hit good shots and not miss your gaps on your club. So given the situation, if you have 120 and you know you fade 120, then 120 is your shot. 121.3. And if you're in a situation where you know, for me, I have to draw the ball in because my distance is 140 and I want the ball to stop. Whereas, you know, typically I would hit my 8 iron 140 or my 9. But if I need to use a pitching wedge and I want the ball to stop, That's not going to make it. That's stuck out on the left. Good shot for being hit behind the ball about two inches. That's a little bit better. Those are the shots we like to see. 117 with a three yard rollout, 120 total. So again, experiment, practice, use your imagination, try to find out which shot is best for you given the situation, because you never know what you might find. Appreciate you watching. Enjoy your day.